Leading off for the Dodgers on fielder number 50, Odie Beckers. We got Mookie Betts. One of the best players in the world, not only that, but one of the most stylish players in the world, one of the best dressed. So uh, thank you for, for this opportunity to talk with you. No problem. I would love for uh, you to take us through what you, what you wear, your bat, glove, cleats, everything you wear, why, and uh, yeah, let's start with the bat since it's right there. Well, I got, I've been using the same bat since 2015. Um, it's kind of worn out a little bit, but... Let's see, lets me know I've put in some good work with it. Um, but yeah, same bad order, same color, same everything since 2015. And so Victor's has been a great, uh, great, been great with me as far as getting my bats and everything. And so give me some good wood. And Lizard Scan obviously has been amazing um, with the custom grip and everything. And the 615, the 50, I had a little gold for the gold glove. and. So that's been cool. a, that's been a great uh, great partnership for sure. That's so cool. Um, so yeah, why why the axe? Like, can you tell me the story about when you switched to the axe? Uh, I think it was in it was in 2015 too. Uh, Dustin Pedroia, I think, is the first person to start using it in the game. Well, with us at least. Yeah. And uh, he he used it, and then I used it right after him, and then the whole team was using it at that point. And, I think I was struggling a little bit, so I tried it. And like I said, I, I really, really liked it, and haven't picked up another bat since. And was that was that your rookie year? Or was that no, 14 was my rookie year, 15 was my second year, and so like I said, I was struggling a little bit. Um, but then ever since I picked it up, it's been uh, it's been pretty, so many pretty good. so many players talk about feel. Is there a feel on a certain location of a pitch? Is there a feel on? Is it inside outside like do you feel like you get to a certain pitch a little bit more uh, I think I've been using it so long that I can't even I don't even have a real answer to that because I don't I don't exactly know because I've only had this feel for the last five years true so if you had asked me then I could probably compare it but now I I have this I literally don't ever touch a, a round knob so I don't even know anything I don't even know what feel I'd be talking about yeah yeah um, and it's is it maple yeah, yeah it's maple same it's been crazy same bad order man I haven't changed it one one time you know Derek Jeter is the same way never yeah. changed a thing yeah. a lot of guys you know they don't need to change it so a lot of times it's the Indian not the arrow yeah actually <laughs> uh, Will Smith said the same thing yesterday how about your glove what do you got for a glove this oh, year? oh yeah, yeah new colorway kind of uh, kind of strange but I think yeah, it looks little, pretty good. A little strange, but it yeah. looks so good. Man. Yeah, I think they uh, Wilson did an amazing job with, um, you know, getting me and making it look good. And they got it to me quick too. I got my other gloves. They look just like this, but they uh, I give them to the bullpen catchers to let them uh, break it in for me. Oh, Cause, really? Yeah, because the pitchers break it in so much faster. Because you know they throw on every day and they throw heavy, heavy balls and everything, so it makes it breaks it in so much faster. So I just use this for. My work every day. Is that it? And that's just basically like it's an infield glove. It's basically like a trainer for you. Yeah, it's a trainer for yeah, me. Yeah, so it gives you lazy and everything. So yeah, uh -huh. use this. And but you can still you can still ball out in the infield if you need to. Yeah, if I, if I need to, I think I may do all right. I, I'll I'm I'm glad now for the I'll yeah. stay I'll stay out there. Did you switch? You switched in my in the minors going into the majors. Yeah, I still switched. Yeah, I made was a change. It, was it easy? Boy. Easy switch? No, it wasn't easy, but I, I worked really, really hard to help make it a little easier on myself. So I tried to work a lot on the front end to get myself, you know, a little, be able to relax in the back. So awesome. How about your outfield glove? Uh, it's the exact same. Like I said, I gave, I gave it to the bullpen. Oh, that's, yeah. That's yeah. Who, oh, I see. I don't, I, so typically in spring training, I get my gloves and then I don't see them until the game. <laughs> Like I just are until until the season. Like I just you, give them to them, and I don't even care what they do. And I know by game one of the season, it'll be ready to go. That's all I care about. Do you like worry about the hand, like being? No. If you can catch, you can catch. It doesn't really matter that much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So how about uh, your cleats? What do you, I know you're probably gonna get some new. Yeah, I they're gonna do Jays uh, the yeah. ones this year. Yeah, yeah, I had all my other ones. Um, they were uh, getting made, and then obviously, you know, the change happened. So yeah. they're, they're a little on back order, but right now yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm wearing. Uh, I think everybody these, is actually. I yeah. Think, um, 
the coronavirus actually is oh like yeah slow things the, down I mean, a little uh, bit slow things down <laughs> so you got yeah these i'm uh, i wear in practice right now um I said, like i said i'm waiting on my game models to kind of come in they still did something special for you though with that like that little uh yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. so yeah it's a got nice that and then crosshatch uh, pattern i'll wear these little Ooh. little tests um, were these sometimes? What are those? What are you, you know? Uh, 34s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, dude. Were these yeah. sometimes? They gotta make. They gotta make those for uh, for kids. I think. Those I know. Are, I know. Those would sell like crazy. <laughs> What's it yeah. say on them? Just, I don't know. Wear test. I don't, I don't know what that means. <laughs> those are awesome. I just. They look pretty good. These are what I might, I like work out in. And, uh huh. Um, I should know whatever. what those are. Those are 13s or no? No, Why these are uh, six rings. Is that what? These are tens. I believe. Tens. We should we should know that, right? Yeah. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll fact check that. I know the Jordan are kids are gonna be so pissed at me for not knowing that. Or twelves? They may no, they're twelve. Twelves. Sorry. Twelves. twelves. Okay, I don't know yeah. why I said tens. We knew that. We knew that. Uh, how about bat glove cleats, batting gloves? Yeah, batting gloves are here. I used these last year. I'm waiting on the new ones to come in, but right now I'm just kind of rocking with these. Um, Got my little my state flag here. Oh, so, so oh, I was gonna ask you about that, uh, Keenan from uh, Nashville. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he we he and I were talking about you gonna get some customs. Have you? Uh, yeah, he's, he, to I sent some him? over to him. Um, I let him do his thing, man. I don't ever give him any direction. He's been amazing, you know, to say the least. You know, he's done an amazing job. Yeah. I think he's definitely built himself a little empire over there. Yeah, something. he's very creative. I got a fan question for you. Um, from Caleb Dodson, what is your what's your warm up playlist like? Oh, uh, oof! My warm up playlist. My warm up playlist right now probably consists of a lot of Roddy Rich. Um, you know this. He's been uh, he's been on fire here lately, so I have to uh, ride him ride him out. And, He's been a, he's, he's a great artist, so I just is he from the, is he from Tennessee? Nah, he's from Cali, but is I don't know him. I just I like I like his music, so I just <laughs> listen to him. Yeah, yeah. So. All right, last question. Um, it's from a friend of mine who likes to tell kids the three most important things for successful people. Three things, if you can name three things for, as for your success. Uh, obviously, obviously, work hard is one. Um, work hard. I would say set attainable goals. That's a good one. Which uh, some people don't do that for some odd reason. Set goals that you can reach. Um, and then three, just don't be scared to fail. I mean, it's, it's almost you know, let that let failure drive you to success. You know, like I'm not gonna fail, so that makes you succeed. You know, so like that's uh my 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 view on success or how I help help myself to be successful. Side note, the lemon in the locker, I know it's kind of weird, <laughs> but uh, for some reason it, like, it helps my locker smell, give my locker a little smell. Yeah. I don't know if you can smell it. I smelled it the first two days. It may have went away. I need a new lemon. Dude. But it worked for a little while. So. Unbelievable. I'm gonna, that's, that's gonna be everybody's new thing, I'm sure. <laughs> Thanks, so, yeah. yeah, I appreciate it.